Criminology Board Exam Reviewer Non-Institutional Corrections Board of Pardons and Parole It was created pursuant to Act No. 4103, as amended. It is the intent of the law to uplift and redeem valuable human material to economic usefulness and to prevent unnecessary and excessive deprivation of personal liberty. Functions 1. To grant parole to qualified prisoners. 2. To recommend to the President the grant of pardon and other forms of executive clemency. 3. To authorize the transfer of residents of parolees and pardonees, order their arrest and recommitment, or grant their final release and discharge. Basis for grant of parole 1. The prisoner is fit to be released. 2. There is a reasonable probability that, if released, he or she will live and remain at liberty without violating the law, and 3. His or her release will not be incompatible with the welfare of society. How may executive clemency be exercised? 1. Reprieve. 2. Absolute pardon. 3. Conditional pardon. 4. Commutation of sentence. Commutation. It refers to the reduction of the duration of a prison sentence of a prisoner. Commutation allowed when? 1. Person is over 70 years old. 2. Eight justices fail to reach a decision affirming the death penalty. Absolute pardon. An act of grace, proceeding from the power entrusted with the execution of the laws, exempts the individual from the penalty of the crime he has committed. Conditional pardon. If delivered and accepted, it is a contract between the executive and the convict that the former will release the latter upon compliance with the condition. Reprieve. It refers to the deferment of the implementation of the sentence for an interval of time. It does not annul the sentence but merely postpones or suspends its execution. Basis for grant of executive clemency. The BPP recommends to the President the grant of executive clemency when any of the following circumstances are present. 1. The trial or appellate court recommended in its decision the grant of executive clemency for the prisoner. 2. Under the peculiar circumstances of the case, the penalty imposed is too harsh compared to the crime committed. 3. Offender qualifies as a youth offender at the time of the commission of the offense. 4. Prisoner is 70 years old and above. 5. Prisoner is terminally ill. 6. Alien prisoners where diplomatic considerations and amity among nations necessitate review and. 7. Other similar or analogous circumstances whenever the interest of justice will be served thereby. When applications for executive clemency will not be favorably acted upon by the Board of Pardon and Parole. 1. Convicted of evasion of service of sentence. 2. Who violated the conditions of their conditional pardon. 3. Who are habitual delinquents or recidivists. 4. Convicted of kidnapping for ransom. 5. Convicted of violation of the Dangerous Drugs Act of 1972 and the Comprehensive Dangerous Drugs Act of 2002. 6. Convicted of offenses committed under the influence of drugs. 7. Whose release from prison may constitute a danger to society. Issues confronting the Philippine corrections system. 1. Overcrowding of certain prison institutions, jails. 2. Fragmented setup of the corrections system. 3. Lack of information technology systems and expertise. 4. Lack of, inadequate training, lack of awareness and understanding by some prison, jail officials and staff on the rights of inmates. Minimum requirements. For commutation of sentence. 1. The prisoner shall have served at least one third of the minimum of his indeterminate and, or definite sentence or the aggregate minimum of his indeterminate and, or definite sentences. 2. 
at least 10 years for prisoners sentenced to reclusion perpetua or life imprisonment for crimes or offenses committed before January 1, 1994. 3. At least 12 years for prisoners whose sentences were adjusted to a definite prison term of 40 years in accordance with the provisions of Article 70 of the Revised Penal Code, as amended. 4. At least 15 years for prisoners convicted of heinous crimes as defined in Republic Act No. 7659 and other special laws committed on or after January 1, 1994 and sentenced to one or more reclusion perpetua or life imprisonment. 5. At least 20 years in case of one or more death penalty penalties, which was, were automatically reduced or commuted to one or more occlusion perpetua or life imprisonment. For conditional pardon. The prisoner shall have served at least one half of the minimum of his original indeterminate and, or definite sentence. However, in the case of a prisoner who is convicted of a heinous crime as defined in Republic Act No. 7659 and other special laws, he shall have served at least one half of the maximum of his original indeterminate sentence before his case may be reviewed for conditional pardon. For absolute pardon. After he has served his maximum sentence or granted final release and discharge or court termination of probation. However, the board may consider a petition for absolute pardon even before the grant of final release and discharge under the provisions of Section 6 of Act No. 4103, as amended, as when the petitioner 1. is seeking an appointive, elective public position or reinstatement in the government service. 2. needs medical treatment abroad which is not available locally. 3. will take any government examination, or 4. Is emigrating. Bureau of Correction. Where the penalty imposed exceeds three years, the offender shall serve his or her sentence in the penal institutions of the book or carpenter. It refers to the institutional record of an inmate which consists of his mitimus or commitment order issued by the court after conviction, the prosecutor's information and the decisions of the trial court and the appellate court, if any. Certificate of Non-Appeal, Certificate of Detention and other pertinent documents of the case. Executive Clemency. It refers to reprieve, absolute pardon, conditional pardon with or without parole conditions and commutation of sentences may be granted by the President of the Philippines. Indeterminate Sentence Law. The indeterminate sentence is composed of 1. A maximum taken from the penalty imposable under the penal code. 2. A minimum taken from the penalty next lower to that fixed in the code. The law does not apply to certain offenders. 1. Persons convicted of offense punished with death penalty or life imprisonment. 2. Those convicted of treason, conspiracy or proposal to commit treason. 3. Those convicted of misprision of treason, rebellion, sedition or espionage. 4. Those convicted of piracy. 5. Those who are habitual delinquents. 6. Those who shall have escaped from confinement or evaded sentence. 7. Those who violated the terms of conditional pardon granted to them by the chief executive. 8. Those whose maximum term of imprisonment does not exceed one year. 9. Those who, upon the approval of the law, had been sentenced by final judgment. 10. Those sentenced to the penalty of destiero or suspension. Procedure for determining the maximum and minimum sentence. It consists of a maximum and a minimum instead of a single fixed penalty. Prisoner must serve the minimum before he is eligible for parole. The period between the minimum and maximum is indeterminate in the sense that the prisoner may be exempted from serving said indeterminate period in whole or in part. The maximum is determined in any case punishable under the RPC in accordance with the rules and provisions of said code exactly as if the ISL had never been enacted. 
apply first the effect of privileged mitigating circumstances then consider the effects of aggravating and ordinary mitigating circumstances. The minimum depends upon the court's discretion with the limitation that it must be within the range of the penalty next lower in degree to that prescribed by the code for the offense committed. Parole the suspension of the sentence of the convict after serving the minimum term of the intermediate penalty, without being granted a pardon, prescribing the terms upon which the sentence shall be suspended, may be given after the prisoner has served the minimum penalty, is granted by the Board of Pardons and Parole under the provisions of the Indeterminate Sentence Law. Disqualification for Parole The following prisoners shall not be granted parole. One. Those convicted of an offence punished with death penalty, reclusion perpetua or life imprisonment. 2. Those convicted of treason, conspiracy or proposal to commit treason or espionage. 3. Those convicted of misprision of treason, rebellion, sedition or coup d'etat. 4. Those convicted of piracy or mutiny on the high seas or Philippine waters. 5. Those who are habitual delinquents that is those who, within a period of ten years from the date of release from prison or last conviction of the crimes of serious or less serious physical injuries, robbery, theft, estafa and falsification, are found guilty of any of said crimes a third time or oftener. 6. Those who escaped from confinement or evaded sentence. 7. Those who were granted conditional pardon and violated any of the terms thereof. 8. Those whose maximum term of imprisonment does not exceed one year or those with definite sentence. 9. Those suffering from any mental disorder as certified by a government psychiatrist, psychologist. 10. Those whose conviction is on appeal. 11. Those who have pending criminal cases. Special factors. The board may give special consideration to the recommendation for commutation of sentence or conditional pardon whenever any of the following circumstances are present. 1. Youthful offenders. 2. Prisoners who are 60 years old and above. 3. Physical disability such as when the prisoner is bedridden, a deaf mute, a leper, a cripple or is blind or similar disabilities. 4. Serious illness and other life-threatening disease as certified by a government physician. 5. Those prisoners recommended for the grant of executive clemency by the trial, appellate court as stated in the decision. 6. Alien prisoners where diplomatic considerations and amity between nations necessitate review. 7. Circumstances which show that his continued imprisonment will be inhuman or will pose a grave danger to the life of the prisoner or his co inmates, and 8. Such other similar or analogous circumstances whenever the interest of justice will be served thereby. Prison record It refers to information concerning an inmate's personal circumstances, the offense he committed, the sentence imposed the criminal case number in the trial and appellate courts, the date he commenced serving his sentence, the date he was received for confinement, the place of confinement, the date of expiration of the sentence, the number of previous convictions, if any, and his behavior or conduct while in prison. Sentence. In law, it is the penalty imposed by the court in a criminal case against a person, known as the accused who is found guilty of committing the crime charged. Youth Offender It is defined as a child, minor or youth who is over 9 years but under 18 years of age at the time of the commission of the offence, 